Well, hello, boys and girls, men and women. Um, this is Brad M73, and we are back. <laughs> we are back with um, Euro Truck Simulator 2. <clears throat> and in the last episode, we left off in Shishishin. Shishishin. I don't know, but we're way over here. And um, we're going to check and. Oh, 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 I know what I wanted to do. wanted to check on the status of my driver, Katarina. Okay, she is on duty. Let's see, high value cargo. Doesn't look like she's gone up in skill. So I want to get her up to like level two. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check on that. Uh, I, did a, I did a quick mission just to get our money up a little bit more. Uh, look at the bank statement here. So we could pay off this hundred thousand if we wanted to, but I think I'm just going to keep on <clears throat> doing what I'm doing right now. Um, we could actually uh, get another fifty thousand dollar loan and then buy a second truck for our, um, you know, and, and hire a new driver. We could actually do that. Um, actually, I think I am going to do that. So let's do, let's see, let's do 50,000 use. So that's going to bring our total up to $7,219 a day that we'll have to pay. So we'll just have to make sure we're earning more than that. Um, let's see. Truck dealers. Let's go to Volvo. Since their trucks are the least expensive. Yes, I want, to, I want to visit the truck dealer in Luxembourg. Loading, loading, loading. Alrighty, Roo. Let's see. So this is the cheapest one. So we're going to purchase it. No, I don't want to drive it. It's going to Frankfurt into this slot. And okay. All right, and yes, we'll exit the truck dealer. Oh, and we're going to recruit another driver. Let's see. So we're going to change, we need to change our name to like, <clears throat> Hot Chicks Delivery Service. Ooh, she can do explosives. That will be good. And eco driving. Okay, so let's hire Lucy. Give her that truck. And then I want to go to my company manager. Ooh, she's resting. And I'm going to put her experience into high value cargo for right now. All right. Oh, well, need to go to the job market here. Um, and we are in Shishishin. See if there's a quick job down to Berlin. Doesn't look like there is. Darn it. So pause then. Unterbrook. For as long as that is, I don't want to go that way out. Let's see. Bremen. Erfurt. No, oh, we haven't been to Erfurt yet. Let's do that one. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, what'd I do? Oh, Erfurt. So that'll give us eight grand. All right, that's not too terribly bad. And it should be a quick one. And at least it'll take us around Berlin. <clears throat> I want to get a job to go to Berlin, but we might be a little close. Seems like when you get the, you know, as you increase your, uh, the distance on your driver. Um, why am I driving a Majestic? Uh, did I do a quick job? 
Ugh. Well, I guess I did a quick job. Oops. Um, well, at least we get to see what a different truck's like, I guess. Didn't mean to do that, but hey, we're not putting miles on our truck, are we? <laughs> Over in the other lane. All right, so now we got two drivers working for us and um, getting those uh, those ladies going will earn us some more money. And uh, we, I guess we are going to, let's see, where are we going again? Erfurt. Erfart. Um, let's see, and I think this is a, supposed to be a quick delivery. Let's see how much time we have. So, let's see, next rest stop. Okay, so we do have some time. So we're just going to try to haul booty out of here. And let's see. We'll check our GPS here. All right, so we should be on the highway proper. And um, here's the border. So we're going from Poland, which apparently they don't have any speed limits outside of the city, into Germany. Willkommen Deutschland. Alright, so we'll hit our cruise control here. Uh, should have plenty of gas. Uh, about half a ten. Uh, let's see what our. So we got 414 kilometers to go. Um, where's our. Or where's our. Better get over in the left lane and get. Yeah. Hate these single lane bridges here. Let's see, let me do I. Okay, so we can go 643 kilometers before we need to refuel, so not that's not too bad. And if you hit your I button, it'll cycle through the different info on your um, dashboard. The level is okay, all right. Never had any issues with uh, <clears throat> like oil temperatures or anything like that so um, maybe as our trucks get older or if you don't well obviously if you don't maintain them hey cool there's a somebody there there I am out there Stocko Stocko Gloss is out there um, doing some farming back there <laughs> Come on. Three seventy five to go. I've never been up uh, this far north in Germany. Uh, definitely not near Poland, or at least not this part of Poland. The northern area. Some speed uh, cameras back there. zoom my GPS out a little bit all right so we're coming up on the Berlin area kind of like to go through just to pick up the um, oh, I guess I've already been to Berlin oh I think I might have done a quick job up there So, I guess we'll go around Berlin. No biggie. All right, so we'll be getting off up here. Berlin, Rostock, okay.
was my attempt at doing some engine braking. All right, let's get over. Let's see if we see the TV tower. I don't see it. Whoa. And we're on a nice Sunday drive. So the Majestic seems pretty, uh, you know, pretty powerful. Can't, can't, don't have any complaints about it, really. And I think it, yeah, it's just the single axle, well, the double axle, I guess. Not the three axles. There's another harvester. And let's see, I'm still got an episode of uh, Farming Simulator uploading right now. Just trying to do some uh, Euro Truck this week. I haven't really had a chance. I I've been, you know, busy and busy this week uh, with work and. Uh, uh, just trying to run some errands and doing things like that. Uh, I haven't really had ch time to even do any playing to get videos converted, but I've been, I've been trying to get uh, some videos converted uh, so that I can get them uploaded. So that's what I was doing last night. Uh, I'll be doing more of that today. Probably when I finish up this episode, I'll um, convert these videos, try to get them up uploaded overnight tonight. And, uh, you know, do that. So we have some more videos this weekend. And we'll have a interesting farming simulator uh, video. And it'll be a really short one, but it'll be kind of funny. Coming up soon, where I think I mentioned this in the last uh, episode of Euro Truck, uh, where we found the kind of an alien egg kind of a thing. TV tower off in the distance anywhere? Nope, not seeing it. Not seeing it at all. Let's see here. All right. Leipzig, been to Leipzig before. I, uh, I remember driving through Leipzig and was really hungry and I stopped at a Burger King and the burger there was amazing. It was way better than any Burger King I've ever eaten at here in the United States by far. Um, we should say something about Burger King and um, an interesting observation, um, you know, at the time I was there they had a very high unemployment rate. Uh, in that area and in Germany especially and I, I, I'm not sure if that uh, those issues are still continuing Ooh, Katarina is bringing in 2190 euros so she's starting to make some pretty good money now actually let's take a quick look at the um, company manager just to see uh... all right cool so she she got up to another level of uh, high value cargo so that's good so maybe we'll leave her there for a while. Get more uh, more expensive cargo runs. Uh, so sorry about that. Anyway, uh, yeah, to get back to uh, Burger King in, in Germany. When I was there, uh, Germany had uh, at least the you know eastern part of Germany, uh, former East Germany, uh, and <clears throat> you know they have a very high unemployment rate. So. But my observation about the Burger King specifically was that it was wasn't necessarily a new Burger King. You know, it wasn't like they built it, you know, that year and it was just sparkling new. It was just very well tended, uh, very clean, 
uh, the bathrooms were sparkling clean and um, I just got the impression that people valued that job and you know my whole thing is it's like you know if if you've got a job that's great the you know when you don't have a job and you're being lazy and just sucking off the government for money that's what I have a problem with but anyway I just got the impression that the people that worked there valued their jobs and it really showed through because by golly that was the best darn Burger King Whopper I think I've ever eaten so kudos to that Burger King in uh, <laughs> in Leipzig Germany but anyway yeah it was just off the Autobahn or uh, on the Autobahn that runs east and west like out I think out towards Dresden so I don't know if anybody <laughs> works near there or lives near Leipzig uh, you, you can take them my compliments but anyway hey why am I not going full speed I'm going 81 kilometers an hour. Am I going uphill, maybe? I might be going uphill. Okay. All right, so we've got three Volvo trucks. And we should probably, you know, try to buy another brand of a truck. Maybe, I don't know. Not that it's a huge deal, but... Well, I think the next thing we need to do is actually buy a second garage. We can also upgrade the current garage so we can even get more drivers, but um, it might be kind of nice to have a second garage. I was thinking about maybe Salzburg um, or Berlin. Or maybe we can even just drive the truck up to the United Kingdom and buy a garage up there. Um... Okay, so we're coming up kind of close to Leipzig now. Don't think I've been into Leipzig. Let's see. Okay, there's our loan installment. 6,820. Oh, I thought it was going to be more than that. Well, <laughs> don't want to complain. Yeah, we haven't been into Leipzig yet, so I think, let's see here, how much time do we have? Oh, we got plenty of time. I'm just going to make a quick detour into Leipzig uh, when we get down here to the next exit. We're just going to run by, pick up the recruitment agency and the uh, whatever truck dealers there. I just want to discover that locate those locations, and then we'll get back on the highway back to uh, Erfurt, I believe. Oh, there's Erfurt on the map already, down to the bot at the bottom left of the map of our mini map. All right, so now we will be coming up. Whoops, on Leipzig. So we'll cut that white car off. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yes, the game seems to be running a lot more stable now than the last episode. Um, I really have no idea why I was having so many problems. Uh, I don't know if maybe that area is buggy in a graphical sense, or I don't think my computer was hot. Um, I mean, it was really weird, so everything seems to be going fine now. Of course, I need to knock on some wood just in case it doesn't. Alright, okay, so Lucy brought in 367 euros. Thank you very much, Lucy. Yeah, Leipzig is not this hilly. It is quite the flatness.
Ah! Oh, one thing I like that they did... Um, Alright, Leipzig's discovered. One thing that I like that they did uh, when they did the patch for this for uh, for your truck simulator uh, 1.3, I guess. Um, I never ran 1.3, so I'm assuming it occurred then. Um, is when you bef previously when you would hold the horn button down to like honk the horn like for long periods of time, it would like honk and then stop and then honk. So it'd be like err err err, <laughs> and now. When you hold it down, it just, you know, honks like a real horn would honk. So, glad for that. All right. All right, punk, you want to race? All right. Okay, here is the um, recruitment agency on the right. So, I'm going to try to cut this trucker off. Thank you, bro. I knew you would let me through. Okay, so this is the yellow sign there. So I'm thinking that that means that we're allowed to turn right. And I guess it doesn't mean that. Well, hell. Well, I guess we might as well go since we've already got the ticket. Breaking the law, breaking the law. All right, never mind. <laughs> So I guess that's not what those signs mean. I don't know what those signs mean. I need to get out my book of European street signs, which I do not have. So I blank no. And the uh, you know the manual does absolutely nothing to explain what the street signs mean. So I just have to guess. See now there's like a red triangle on that on this light post. So well yeah, you want a piece of me, Mr. Volvo? Volvo? Volvo, what, whatever. Scraping the fence. So this is a DAF dealer. Now, what is the advantage of? engine braking over traditional braking other than you don't wear out your brake pads as quickly but instead wear out your engine more quickly um i don't know if there's a advantage of engine braking i guess you could use standard braking in combination with engine braking to get you know more braking efficiency but um I, I don't know really aside from that what other advantages there may or may not be so if anybody could uh, post in the comments and let me know that would be awesome ninety kilometers an hour okay so we got an hour and fifty three minutes got the next rest in six hours I'm running 14. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. I thought this was a like a quick delivery. Uh, may may not have been. I could be mistaken. But we're not far from Erfurt, so we'll be there in no time. It'll probably take us like five minutes, maybe. Slow down around this corner so I don't flip my truck. I'm going to do an episode where I just... It'll probably be a short episode, but I'm just going to do an episode one time where... Uh, maybe I'll do it on my other profile where we will just try to wreck. I mean, when you crash into other cars, it doesn't do anything physically to your vehicle. The only thing it does do is it just, you know, like slows your... well. It, causes different problems you know if your engine is heavily damaged then it'll stall out all the time and you have to restart it and things like that um i know one time i got it i, I don't know if i if it's on one of the previous let's plays or not um but i 
hit another semi truck head on and I think I had like at least 50 or 60 percent damage and um, yeah it wasn't pretty so um, you know I couldn't even get the truck started for more than you know 20 or 30 seconds to really continue on the route and had to call for the tow truck and everything so <gasps> oh god oh god man I swear I'm not trying to wreck my truck <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, well, that, that was, that was ironic. Let's see here. What's the sign? Okay. Frankfurt Castle and Erfurt. All right. So we'll get, we'll make a ride up here. As we should. We can kind of keep our speed up on this curve because it's a pretty shallow curve on the ramp here. Get over into the middle lane here. So yeah, I kind of want to do an episode where I'm, you know getting into accidents and rolling trucks and things like that so um, just as an experiment just to see you know what happens and you know things like that so maybe we'll do that sometime in the future and that'll be fun we'll, hopefully it'll be good for a laugh or two I never really looked at what I was hauling here Whoa! Oh, we're almost to Erfurt. Well, that didn't take long at all. Never been here. Never been to Erfurt. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in this lane. Don't know what I'm doing. Actually, I think I will get over to the left. Unless I get shafted by somebody turning left. Ugh, which I am. Magdeburg, I've been there. Zentrum. Ugh. Five kilometers and five minutes. Go, 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 go. Come on, go. All right, there we go. Ninety kilometers an hour. It'll take us a while to get up to that speed. And I don't know if there's any recruitment agencies or anything in this town. I guess we'll find out. Actually, we can take a quick look at the map. Nope. Nothing here. I 
Now I do have to get over to the left because I gotta make a left turn up here. Erfurt discovered. All right. Whoa. I just cut him off. <laughs> yeah, just call me Safety Man with a capital T. <gasps> Whoa. Phew. Glad I adjusted my braking properties on this game because, man, I tell you what. bus moved. I wonder, I wonder if our buddy was sitting up in the front, in the front right seat. Um, I guess I better go into a more zoomed in view. Here we go. Oh, I see our parking space over to the right there at Euro Goodies. What am I hauling that's so goody? Oh, potatoes. Wrong way. Turn back the other way. We're gonna get it. Oh, there we go. Yay! <coughs> Good work. I didn't get an excellent. Oh, because I got the damage. <laughs> Lame. Well, at least I didn't damage my own truck. <laughs> so we are back in shishishing. Yep, we are back in shishishing. Can't believe I took a quick job. So, oh well. So maybe we'll do the route to castle next. It's a, ooh, it's paying quite quite nicely. Well, let's see how our new recruits are doing. Whoops. Company manager. All right, so Katarina is up to a 1.7 rating. And Lucy is still at 0.8. So she's got high value cargo. Let's see, Katarina, let's do. Yeah, we'll keep her on high value cargo for now. So, uh, let's see, we got 20,000 euros in the bank, and let's see what we have as far as our loan. Uh, got about $200,000, so, um, so we're doing all right. I think when I get, um, I think I'll get these loans paid off, especially like this one, uh, the 50,000 since it's at 20%. So when we get up to, you know, 48,000, you know, around 50,000, I'll, I'll pay that back, and then we'll work on paying back our other ones too. Which uh, should be easier, you know, it, it'll start becoming easier um, as we get, um, you know, more skills. Um, yeah, so we got uh, high value cargo, fragile cargo. Oh, oh no, I don't have a skill point. I thought I did. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. I kind of want to get just in time delivery and eco driving up, and then I think I'll start going for more ADR. Um, I was going to top off high value cargo until I realized that you only get the, oh, wait a second. Where was it? Long distance. Oh, I must've had that checked. So yeah, I, I do need to 
max out high value cargo. I think I used my last skill point for the fragile cargo, which, you know, it's, that's all right, too. All right, guys. Well, I am going to get off here and go grab some dinner. It is my sister's birthday today, so uh, we are going to celebrate her, diff uh, her birthday. So that'll be fun. Um, and uh, maybe I'll come back home and make some more videos. Actually, I'll probably just come back home <laughs> and be processing these so I can get them uploaded tonight. All right, guys, once again, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, if you haven't purchased it already, please do so. Um, support SES Software. Um, it's, it's available from a variety of distributors, um, in-store and online. Um, and you can find some great prices on it. Please don't pirate it. Um, pirating sucks. Uh, you know, and it, uh, you know, keeps, keeps uh, software developers and designers uh, from making better products. So it's uh, always good to support those guys and uh, in what they do, because they're you know they're kind of here for us too and and uh, giving us what we want uh, from the different simulators. And uh, so far this one's looking very good. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's very relaxing and um, you know I'm giving it a thumbs up for sure. So guys, thanks again for watching. I am Brad M73, uh, and again please subscribe, please like the videos, please give them a thumbs up. It uh, helps me get more viewers, uh, more exposure. So we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.